As you're modernizing your enterprise, how do you mitigate the risks and vulnerabilities associated with transitioning into a container architecture? Hi, my name is Charles, and I'm a cloud developer here with IBM Cloud. Today, I'm going to give you a general overview and an introduction to how you can begin to secure your container environment. Let's say that you're an enterprise, and you're using VMs to host your application code, and you want to transition into using containers. Containers are really great because they allow you to smoothen the application development pipeline, and they can be deployed just about anywhere. However, because of this flexibility of being able to deploy just about anywhere, a whole new variety of attack surfaces exist surrounding the container environment. Some of these include the images that you use to build your containers, the image registries that we use to store our images in, the container runtimes, um, which we use to execute our containers, and the orchestration platforms, um, which we use to manage the life cycle of multiple containers with. And lastly, um, the host OS, which uh, manages the, um, the, Docker contain the Docker client and the Docker daemon and the kernel of which is shared with our running Docker containers. So when we look at images as a potential vulnerability, um, one of the best things that we can do to address this vulnerability is to make sure that we're keeping our images up to date. And the reason this is so important is because uh, images that are up to date typically have um, the latest security patches which protect you from the latest vulnerabilities that they track. We also want to make sure that we're regularly scanning our images so that we can keep track of any new vulnerabilities that may not have already been caught. And we also want to make sure that we're signing our images. Um, and signing an image will essentially create a digital fingerprint that you can use um, to cryptographically test and verify uh, whoever it was that was trying to manipulate the image with. Now, image registries are a potential vulnerability because they contain all of these images which contain your application code. And so in order to keep them secure, you want to make sure that you're keeping your image registries private. And a private registry really is one that gives you absolute control over the types of images, how many images, and the access control of the users that are accessing the registry. You also want to make sure that you're regularly monitoring your registry so that you can track any new vulnerabilities that may come about. And you want to make sure that the host server for the registry is secure so that um, you can protect it from being compromised and you can protect your images and the application code from being accessed. When it comes to the container runtime, runtimes can be a little bit tricky because historically, um, security, related to security tools related to containers uh, monitor more the, the communication around them rather than what's happening inside. So one of the best things you can do is to make sure that your app security is up to par and you also want to make sure that you are monitoring uh, your network protocols and your network payloads. You also want to make sure that you're monitoring um, the host as well. When it comes to orchestration softwares, these are platforms such as Kubernetes or container platforms like OCP. And what's great about these is that they include um, lots of access control uh, capabilities, which means that you can easily set limits, um, not just on the number of privileged users that you have, which is an important thing to do, um, but also the amount of privilege that you give any one user so that if the user is compromised, they're not able to attack your entire orchestration platform. Um, you also want to make sure that you are uh, monitoring um, your orchestration platform as well um, and that you're monitoring the pod communication within the uh, orchestration platform. When it comes to the host OS, um, this is potentially one of the greatest vulnerabilities that you can have in your container environment um, because the host OS, uh, if compromised, will give the attacker essentially access to your entire application environment. So in order to um, help to mitigate this, it's good to have a slim OS. Something like SE Linux is a great option. Um, you also want to make sure that you have access control uh, implemented within your OS. And you want to make sure that you're also regularly monitoring the OS as well um, for any vulnerabilities uh, to protect it from being compromised. 
And so these are a few of the potential vulnerabilities that exist in the space surrounding your container. When it comes to protecting the container itself, there's a lot of great open source tools that exist. Um, and one of them uh, falls under the category of scanning. Uh, it's sort of the de facto option when it comes to scanning tools for containers, and it's called Docker Bench. And Docker Bench is great uh, because it's really just a simple script that runs, and it will test your container against dozens of different um, container production deployment best practices, and it'll let you know how your container does against it. Um, OpenSCAP is another great option, which uh, it sort of will collect and analyze different, um, oh, sorry, it will allow you to uh, create schedules around continuous scanning um, for your container. Now, when it comes to monitoring tools, uh, a really great option is called Prometheus. And uh, Prometheus is great because this one will allow you to collect and analyze different metrics around uh, communication between different node endpoints. Um, lastly, uh, when it comes to firewall tools, uh, Cilium is a fantastic option um, because it will allow you to analyze communication in your network and also um, the communication between all the different application services that you have. So just to recap, um, we've gone over uh, a few of the vulnerabilities that exist um, in the environment around the container, and then we've gone over some um, really great open source tools that can help to secure your container. Thank you. If you have questions, please drop us a line below. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. And don't forget, you can grow your skills and earn a badge with IBM Cloud Labs, which are free, browser-based, interactive Kubernetes labs.